Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we are going to be checking out another big, giant, expensive toy. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon from Super 7. That's right, it's the year of the party wagon, or rather, 2023 was the year of the party wagon, as we've already taken a look at the NECA version of the Turtle Van, but part of Super 7's Ultimates line, they also released the Party Wagon, which just shipped right at the end of the year. And if you've already watched my best of 2023 video, you might know that I actually ranked this among some of my favorite toys of the year, but I haven't given a proper video dedicated to it yet, so that's what I'm doing here today. Now, I understand that this basically shipped out in December. Everybody's probably got this that's going to get it, so hopefully you guys still care about my thoughts and opinions on this because it's just such a fun toy. I wanted to do a video to talk about it, and what better place to start than with this box? This this massive box. So I want to talk about the shipping with this as well. And it's one thing that I feel like with all the big items I've, I've ordered from Super 7 over the years, I think the most comparable thing that I personally have experienced was the Snake Mountain playset that they did for Masters of the Universe Classics. This thing came in a massive box that when you opened it up had another massive box inside of it. And one thing that was really nice is that it had the hard protective plastic corners on the outer box and the inner box. And then when you finally got all that out and opened it up, you had the actual item inside. So they really went out of their way to protect this as much as possible. In fact, if this thing shows up or showed up with dents or dings, it's definitely at the fault of the Postal Service because they really packed the heck out of this thing. Uh, it was annoying unboxing all of it, but I appreciate that extra level of care, especially for anybody that's planning to leave these in the box or cares about the condition. And the box is pretty awesome, I gotta say. Um, first of all, it's massive. And uh, I do think it's important to do measurements here in case you don't already have this or you're waiting on it. We're talking about 23 inches across. We're a little, we're 15 and a half inches tall. We are 14 inches deep. Um, so it's a really big hefty box uh, and it's gorgeous. It's got really amazing artwork on there, which is something that Super 7's done a really great job with. And specifically on like their reaction side of things, those card backs always have amazing artwork. Ultimates don't typically get artwork, uh, but here we've got some of that really awesome artwork on this package. It still has that same kind of graffiti brick motif that we've seen on the regular Ultimates window boxes, but this artwork on the front here, Gorgeous, absolutely love it. Uh, and it's also a really thick, very sturdy box. So it's gonna be one of those boxes that it's huge. It takes up a lot of space, but uh, it's gonna be hard to get rid of because it looks so nice. It feels so good. It's got awesome artwork. Um, around the sides, it kind of shows you some of the included items, some of the features. And then the back of the box has a very vintagey looking sort of cross sell or just showing you everything that's in the box, including the van, all of the accessories, a sheet of stickers. Um, and then you get more uh, looks at the van on the other side of the box. The top has the exact same artwork as what is on the front. Beautiful box all the way around. Now, when you open up this box, uh, right on top after you open the flap, you'll find um, a little plastic baggie that contains some fun little items. So first of all, there is one sheet of stickers. We'll talk about that more when we get to it. Uh, but you also get the Party Wagon New Owners Pack which is just one of those like fun little add-ins. It's supposed to look like one of the owner owner's manual kind of uh, uh, folders that you would get with a new car. And it's got all kinds of fun things in here, like a giant boot the foot sticker. Um, you've got some scratches and scuffs that you could put on the windows if you want to. You've got some actual bumper stickers, which are really fun. Um, and then you also get a fun little... Um, driver's license, which has got one of the turtles in their amazing trench coat disguise, uh, and an actual keychain. All of this stuff is fun. Um, it's obviously unnecessary, but it's a fun bonus pack in and definitely something I got a kick out of when I opened it up. Now, aside from that, 
I was really surprised to see that the van itself is already fully assembled. Aside from those stickers that I showed you on the sticker sheet, uh, when you pull the styrofoam out of here, the turtle van is basically together and ready to go. So you don't have a lot of assembly with this. This thing comes out of the box and is basically ready to be displayed on your shelf or played with. So let's go ahead and move away from the box and take a look at the party wagon. So here it is. This is the Ultimates Party Wagon. And just like the box, it's massive. <laughs> like, this is a huge toy. And I remember seeing this in person, or the prototypes at least, the test shots at places like San Diego Comic-Con and New York Toy Fair. And at that time, I was blown away by the size. Like, it felt big. It almost felt too big. Um, let's go ahead and take measurements on this here. So if I bring in the tape measure and we go front to back, you can see it measures 16 inches in length. If we go from the bottom of the wheels to the top of the roof, we're at 10 inches tall. If you count the little fin on the back, you're going up to 12 inches tall. So 16 by 12, it's a pretty big van. And in relation to our seven inch action figures, I gotta say, it feels pretty gigantic. Um, when you stand the Ninja Turtles in here, they do seem a little short, right? Like if you stood outside of a van, you would not be this low to the windshield. Like this is a huge van. Now, I know that there's been some talk. I know, I believe it was Kyle from Super 7 who said that in relation to the turtles, it is a little big because it's actually scaled to human adults. And when you think about that, it makes a sense, it makes a little sense, in the sense that the turtles are typically portrayed shorter than the humans. So if I bring in April O'Neil over here, you can see, I mean, she's quite a bit taller than the turtles. Even taller than her is Casey Jones. So when you look at it in that light, it definitely doesn't feel quite as big, but I gotta be honest, even with Casey Jones standing there, this feels like a gigantic van. <laughs> And it, I think it's fine because it definitely makes for a great toy and a really impressive uh, display piece. Plus, there's lots of room on the inside for all of the figures that I'm going to show you. So I think that's the reason for the scale. Um, but I know that this has been kind of one of the critiques I've seen of it. And I do think I need to agree with that critique. It almost seems oversized for the characters, um, but not in a way that it's like, that off-putting to me, I still think it works fine as a toy, as a display piece. But of course, that is really gonna be up to you, right? And how you feel about it. It's huge. It's a big van. It's a huge van. Now, the details on this are pretty great all the way around. And I think this is an important place to talk about the price point because I think one of the biggest negatives of this particular toy is the price point. This was a very expensive piece coming in at $499.99. This is a $500 toy van. And that kind of sounds crazy when you say it out loud. And I know if we're talking about a versus scenario like this versus the NECA one, that's a big price difference. I think the NECA one was that at 250 or 300, maybe it was 300, but still this is a full $200 more at least than the NECA one. Um, and that's a lot, that is a lot. Now, with that said, and I'm not gonna change my mind on that, that's a lot of money, probably too much money. But I will say, it looks like the money was spent well as far as like paint deco goes, as far as details go. Because one of the things I really like about this is just how detailed the entire thing is. If you look at the front, you can see it does have that awesome turtle shell emblem with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. And this isn't just a sticker. Like this is all part of the sculpt on the front. It's painted really nicely. Um, you know, that's actually like green paint on there. It's not just the same green as the shell that's on there good paint deco hits on here. Um, when you come around to the sides of the van, you'll see that you've got these slices of pizza on the tires, which are fully decoed, really cool looking, fully sculpted pepperonis, slices in the pizza. Also, these are spinners. They're spinning hubcaps, 
which is kind of fun. And a fun little trick about this, if you don't like those, because this is like a new embellishment that Super 7 created, it's very easy to remove those, and you've got just the basic green hubcaps underneath. You can take all four of these off if you don't like them, but they are kind of fun. And it's fun to have, we have the spinners on there. Deco is really nice on that. But another spot that I thought the Deco was really nice is on the van itself because it's not simply just molded in the yellow and the orange and the green with no extra paint hits. You might, I don't know if it's coming across on here, but that orange door on the side has got this pearlescent shine to it. There's definitely this coat of pearlized paint that makes it semi-metallic and shiny and it looks really nice. And on the top, the green roof has got shading on there. So there is some dark shading on there that helps to bring out the details and make it stand out a little bit so it's not just molded in the green. And there's a lot more deco hits on the inside that I will show you as well. Um, so I'm only pointing all that out specifically to say that I think it looks really nice as far as the deco goes. I think it's really well done. There's still some spots where it's just kind of molded in one color, like the orange guns up here are still just orange. Uh, it does look like we got a little bit of that pearlescent on parts of it though. Um, but for the most part, it is just orange. The backside of the mirrors here do have reflective stickers though. So you do have nice little mirrors there on the side. So it's pretty cool. As you can see, it rolls really well. In fact, it might roll too well. Um, I haven't had too many problems with it rolling away or anything like that as long as the surface is really flat. But this is a really good moment to bring up one of the fun included accessories with this, which is the smashed mouser. Uh, this is really fun because we've gotten plenty of Mousers in the Ultimates line. It is styled very similar. You can see it's run over, but this is actually a nice feature as well because it's not just a really cool Mouser, but this works as a stabilizer for the Turtle Van. So if you're worried about this guy rolling off your shelf, stick that Mouser under the tire. Should do a great job of stopping it and keeping it in place. And it just... It looks fun. It's running over a mouser. <laughs> I thought that was a really cool added bonus. It's not just a fun feature, but or a fun accessory, but also a feature, something that works well for the van. Now, let's talk about the stickers. The stickers are probably one of the biggest critiques I have on this particular van. And really, it's not most of them. It's just a couple of them. I followed the way the box showed to put the stickers on here because much like on the vintage van, there's not really specific spots that these need to go, meaning there's not like little carved out spots in the plastic where the stickers fit. You just kind of put them on there and it helps to kind of differentiate the look a little bit, spice it up. Totally not something you even have to do if you don't want to. I will say the stickers are printed very nicely. They're bright, they're colorful, they're fun. They're not exactly the same stickers as the vintage. Um, they're doing their own thing, which is pretty cool. But I've got a few I wanna complain about. The biggest one I wanna complain about is this one right here, Boot the Foot. Uh, it shows it on the back of the box on this lower portion of the orange door. And it shows it much smaller where it fits on here. As I was sticking it on, I soon realized that sticker is bigger than that door to the point where I ended up having to fold the sticker over this top part of the bottom door. The OCD, and I don't get too OCD about a lot of stuff, this drives me crazy. I can't stand the fact that this sticker is now folded over the top. In hindsight, I should have stuck it across the top here and like used an X-Acto knife to cut it and maybe separate it on those doors. But clearly that sticker was misprinted. It is bigger than it's supposed to be. And ugh, it drives me crazy. Which leads me to these, the bombs. Where's the bombs? I can't find them. Let me open the top here. So one of the accessories that are included with this are two of these bombs, which are great because they're kind of a staple of the vintage toy. But look at this. Look at this insanity. The stickers are not sticking to the bombs because they're too short. They don't make it all the way around the bombs. 
Uh, you've got this gap in the stickers. They can't overlap with each other to help them keep stuck on the bombs. And that is really a shame because they are fun bombs. This one labels it as laughing gas and the image is like a big open toothy mouth with a tongue sticking out. And this one is stink gas where we've got like a green cartoony stink cloud on there. So the stickers are really fun but the stickers were not printed to the right size. So for some reason, these stickers are too small, this sticker is too big, and it drives me crazy. <laughs> It drives me absolutely crazy. Um, so if you haven't put your stickers on yours yet or you've got one of these coming, this is your warning. Maybe think about not placing this sticker on here or finding a different way to place it. And you're probably gonna wanna use tape on these to help keep these down or maybe a little bit of glue or something. Um, I'm gonna have to do something or just don't use the stickers on the bombs. It's unfortunate. Okay, so let's talk about the inside and all the fun uh, opening compartments and all that kind of stuff uh, now that we've got some of my gripes out of the way. So that door swings open like I just showed you. Now, if you had the vintage toy, you probably remember a gimmick where you would open the roof of the turtle van and this would swing open, dropping the bombs out, hitting the bad guys. You probably notice that this does not have that action feature. This is just a standard opening and closing door. We do have a seat belt up here as well as a chair. And let me fold this around so you can get a good look at the chair because this is some of the detailing that I really like on this. And we'll look at the inside as best we can too. Um, I love the deco hits on the chairs. They've got this really worn leather look to them. They've got duct tape on there as if they're all ripped up and they just use quick duct tape to repair it. I think that's really, really fun. Now, if we put a turtle up here in the chair, uh, I do kind of think that the chair looks gigantic. <laughs> with the turtle sitting in it there, um, almost like he's like sitting in his baby seat. <laughs> um, but you can still strap a turtle in the side if you want to. You can close the door with the turtle in it, which is really cool. You can fold up the bottom portion there. Um, so really easy to do. And this has got a lot of opening doors. You probably noticed already that I opened the canopy like this. You can also pull the back of the top canopy open this direction. The passenger side door opens and the driver's side door opens. So there's a lots of opening doors so you can really get to the inside of the van. Now I want to kind of tip the van over this direction so you can get as good of a look on the inside as possible. And of course, I'll try to include some other shots of it as well. But I really do think the deco in here is incredibly cool. Again, all of those seats with the duct tape all over them. I love the little intricate details like the random slices of pizza that are left all over the back. Um, and then you've even got this really cool stereo that's up here in the front. And what's really cool about the stereo is it's actually a removable boom box. You can actually pop that right out of the, uh, the van itself. You can pull up a handle and now you've got a fun little boom box accessory for your turtles characters, or it easily just pops right back on the inside. Up in the front, we've got a steering wheel that turns. We've got a brake pedal. We've got a gas pedal. Everything in there is sculpted and painted, so no stickers used on the dashboard, all the buttons. I really do think the interior is very nice looking. And there's plenty of room to fit your turtles inside. You can put Donnie up in the driver's seat if you want to. You can stick another turtle up in the passenger seat. And you've got plenty of space in the back for more turtles and more characters, which is very cool. So we've got lots of other accessories that I want to talk about with this as well. Of course, we already talked about the two included bombs, but we've got some other fun accessories like this whole toolkit right here, which is pretty cool, which comes with a plunger. It comes with a blowtorch and all kinds of little extra tools. We got a screw, two screwdrivers. We got two different types of wrenches. We've got a mallet. And of course, we got a little can of Munich news, cause why not? So you've got all these fun tools in case Donnie needs to do some work to the turtle van. And he can actually do that right here on the back because one of the other parts you can open up is you can fold open the back and you've got a nice little sculpted engine on the back on the inside. I think that's a fun, nice little touch as well. Now, another fun feature for the back of the turtle van is this included wench system. Now this is really neat. 
because this can actually just attach to the back of the van by clipping it on the bumper back here, just like that. And it's got a real metal chain and a hook. So we got a whole towing cable here in case we need to tow something. I don't know, we don't have another vehicle in this line, but if the turtles wanna to tow just the bad guys or whatever else you can, and then you've got the little wind up winch here. So you can just wind the tow cable back up right there on the back of the van. And if you don't like that, it very easily can just clip right off the back of the bumper. Um, it is worth noting, it is scuffing up the silver paint just a little bit. So if that's something you're concerned about, that's your heads up on there. But I do think that that is a fun little extra accessory, another fun little neat thing that Super 7 uh, kind of created for their version of the van. On the front, the blast shield does have the ability to fold down. It's actually kind of like latched onto the top. So you just gotta get it off that little notch. You can fold that down and the radar dish folds upwards. Also these little blasters are articulated just like on the vintage. So very easy to pop this back up and kind of hook it on that little latch there. Also the windshield has the ability to open as well. The windshield just kind of folds open on there in case you need a better look at the turtles on the inside for some photography or just to see them on your shelf or for whatever reason. And those just kind of clip back down in place as well, just like so. Um, and then of course I've got the one big sticker up on the fin at the top that's got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Again, an ex the stickers I feel like are totally optional. Uh, something you can do if you want to do. And the last couple accessories that come in here are helmets for some reason. <laughs> We've got like these great turtle shell helmets, uh, both of which feel very rock steady to me. Um, but you know, if you wanna put some helmets on your turtles, you've got helmets for your turtles, I guess. Just some other fun bonuses, but lots of cool stuff going on here. And I think the last thing I really need to talk about with this that I haven't talked about yet, is how it feels. Because the quality on this is one thing that I think I was the most impressed with. Like, the cool thing about this is, this feels like a toy. This feels like a toy that you can actually play with, much like the original Turtle Van did. It's heavy, it's got weight to it, the plastic feels super sturdy, it's a nice feeling toy. And I think you probably know what I'm talking about when we talk about like, toys versus collectibles, or sometimes some of these collectible items that we get are really nicely made and they look cool, but they definitely feel more like they should just be sitting on a shelf and not messed with a whole lot and definitely not played with. This feels like you could probably play with it. It feels like a toy. And that's something that I really like about this as well. All right, guys, it's comparison time. I wanna start with the van that this one is inspired by. This is, of course, our original party wagon vehicle here. Looking at them side by side, you can definitely see where Super 7 took a lot of their cues. Um, but of course, they did kind of do their own thing with it. It's a bit more rounded than the vintage one is. You can see that those stickers are different, but of course, a lot of similarities as well. Those orange guns, the orange satellite dish, lots of stuff like that. In fact, the original one has an engine as a sticker on the back, which is clearly where they took inspiration for this opening panel on the back of their van, where it's definitely modeled after that sticker on the original one, and I think that is pretty cool. Uh, but this also really shows you the scale difference between this new one from Super 7 and the original one from Playmates Toys, but still pretty fun looking at these side by side. Okay, and we gotta do it. Here it is compared to the NECA Toys Turtle Van. Now, this is a, a scenario where like, I know we keep talking about like Turtle Van versus Turtle Van, which one is better? Um, but obviously these are also modeled after two completely different designs, with this one being inspired by the original animated series and this one being inspired by the original toy, which did look different, similar, but different. And I think both of them accomplish the look that they're going for. Now, it's really interesting to see the size difference between these. Um, the NECA one already felt big, but it's not too much bigger than the vintage toy. The Super 7 one is massive. <laughs> 
is so incredibly big. Uh, but it's really cool looking at these side by side because they really are like two different looks for the turtle van. And I think some people are definitely gonna have their preferences over which style they prefer. Or um, you're just a madman like me and you're like, it's turtles, I need it, I gotta have it. I gotta have all the turtles. Um, I know I've also had a lot of folks asking, a lot of people asked in this video, why I didn't compare it to the third party turtle van that came out. And the simple answer is that I don't own it. I didn't buy that one. Um, if I ever do get that one, I will absolutely do like another video where I could compare all three of those vans together, um, just because it would be really interesting to see what they all look like all lined up. Uh, but unfortunately, I only bought these two. I only have these two turtle vans to show off next to each other. But there you go. There is our two brand new turtle vans very big, very expensive toys that came out in 2023. So there you go, my friends. That is my look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates Party Wagon from Super 7. Now, I definitely had my gripes about this, right? I had my nitpicks with the stickers, which is probably the thing that bothers me the most. And I do think the price point is almost too high where you're cutting a lot of people out. In fact, I think that's just commentary on the big, giant, expensive toys as a whole. We can't have much more of that, right? Like we've gotta be getting to the end of this rope. So um, $500 is a lot of money for this. That aside, I think this is a great toy. Honestly, I like this quite a bit. That's why I put it in, one, in my list of favorite toys from 2023 because once I got this out of the box, I had so much fun photographing it and playing with it and putting the figures in it. And I just thought it was a really well-made toy. And that's definitely how I still feel about it. It's really, really well done. So if you like the ultimate style, if you like the style of the original toy turtle van and that's your turtle van, I really do think that you will enjoy this. It's expensive, but it's a very well-made, very cool toy. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. Do you have this turtle van? Do you have the NECA one? Do you have both of them? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And until next time, my friends.